In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how to do a split screen where one video is playing on the right side of your screen while another is playing on the left side. This is sometimes done in the movie world with a conversation where you see one person talking to the other person from different locations. But just for simplicity, I'll take two random videos and do that. So I have a video I've placed on track number one, two guys in the garage, and I'll take my test screen here and drag it on track number two. Now when we do that, we notice what always happens is the, the video in the higher numbered track or the lower track will always override the one behind it and the one the track above. So what I'd like to do is take each of these and make them approximately half the size of the screen. How can I do that? Well, I'll start with uh, the, the, the one on the lower track. It really doesn't matter which one you begin with. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the look of this. If I normally try to resize it and I click here, it will keep it in proportion to the original. So that's not what I want. I, I want to be able to cut out half of it. I'm going to cancel that. I'm not going to save any changes there. So what I want to do is with the lower video highlighted, I click on Tools and then I move to Power Tools. In Power Tools, I have an option that says Crop and Zoom. And then if I move my screen over a little bit more, I can see my whole button. So I'll click on the Crop and Zoom. Now this gives me a, a screen where I, it automatically defaults to a certain ratio, 4 by 3, 16 by 9, or 9 by 16. None of those work for me, so I'm going to click Freeform. And what I want to do now is I want to take uh, my image and I want to make it uh, smaller only by changing the width of it. And so I'll take this and move the blue, do blue area over. It looks like it's about half the size of the screen. Uh, something close to that. That should work fine. And then I will click on OK. So now I have cropped this to one half size of the screen. I'll click back on it again and I see I need to move it. So now when I double click on it, I will drag it to the right. And that should be about half the size of the screen. I'll click on OK. Now we need to do the same with the other one. I will click on it. I will go to my Tools menu, which I automatically have from the last time. I'll do Crop and Zoom. Click on Crop and Zoom. And now we'll do Freeform again. And in this case, I will uh, go ahead and drag it slightly together. And we'll move it this way. Oops, I need, this, I need to do that later. We'll just move it together until we think I've got about half of the size of the, of the movie. Click on OK. Now I will, double, I will uh, double click on it. And now we can take this and we can move it to the left. And then we click on OK. Now when I go ahead to play my movie, uh, I should be able to see one movie playing on the left side, another on the right side. And so when you do that, you have to make sure that in the editing process you don't cut out important things on the left side or the right side. You have to film with that in view. And obviously it was easier when I did this shot here because I did want it to be only part of the screen. This one may be a little trickier because you want to make sure both subjects are in camera. But that gives you a simple way in which you can do a split screen. Let me give you another one that's slightly different and a lot easier. I'm going to take both of these and, and delete them here. And uh, we'll just drag one under track one, this into track two, this into track three. An easy way to do it is to a, a quad screen. Where you simply take your image 
and you keep it in proportion, you drag it to about a fourth of the screen, and you take the other image here, and I drag this one into a fourth of the screen. And you may have to play with it a little bit because you don't want a gap between them. And I'll, uh, I'll take this one and the uh, two guys and drag that into a fourth of the screen. And that starts out with a, a black, so that's a little bit confusing there. And if I had another one, I could take that. Well, I can, I'll take one of these and drag it on another track, too, just for fun. Okay, I've got that on there twice. And I'll drag that down to a fourth of the screen. And uh, you can adjust the spacing if you want to and, and the relative size. But what you have here are actually four movies uh, playing at the same time on your screen, each taking up a quarter of the space. If I go ahead and uh, hit my play, I find one, two, three, four. And if I wanted the last movie to um, not look like the first movie, the easy thing to do is I'll move over here and I'll split it in half and I'll do a different timing here. I'll take out, um, take out the first part, drag it back here. And now it should look a little different. Let's try that again. And so, so, so I have four movies playing at the same time. And that's an interesting way in which you can do another kind of split screen, a quad screen. You can also split it three ways, uh, horizontally or vertically.